Oké, okay, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I am Herman van Bergen. I have to speak with you about abuse of power, evil, nature, and my art. And that all in 10 minutes. The star in my presentation, in my story, is this. The thorn. The Acacia Tortuosa. The Acacia Tortuosa, you can find it everywhere on the island. It is massive. And that in contrast with 500 years ago, there were, they were hardly to be found, hardly to see. So, why is that? Imagine you are the Curaçao version of Mother Nature. Picture yourself in the sea, lounging in the sun, not a care in the world. Maybe some Indians on your belly. And then all of a sudden boats arrive. And these boats, on these boats are men who start to cut down all the trees on the island. They unload their boats with a bunch of goats, and they overgraze the uh, natural vegetation. Vegetation. This is uh, unbelievable. They also slaughtered the Indians, the Indians, the nature people on the island. They dragged in African people. They have to work for the, for, for the man on the boat as slaves. So these European men, they caused a, an, an ecological and a an humanitarian disaster. But Mother Nature, she's not crazy. She defends herself with a, with a stronghold of these Acacia Tortuosa. And this is mean, this is hard, this is very strong. But the reaction was, was, is not that strong as the harm done to Mother Earth. But then, you can imagine that this is a very good piece of material to express the things which are happening on this world. And I use it as an artist like that. I'm making statues of that, like this one. And because of the evil of man, like what happened 9-11, then I felt the need to make more of these pieces, like this one. We are the thorns, with a little bit of paradise around. How do, can, why do we do this to each other? Why do we force Mother Nature to be a witness of our wars, of our injustice, poverty, the greed and the pollution? Why do we force Mother Nature to be, be witness of this? It's incredible. And that's why I started to make statues of that. And now I'm coming to the climax of my uh, my work with this material, and that's going to be the Cathedral of Thorns. And I'll light this a little bit for you. And this cathedral, <laughs> it's, it's only the maquette. <laughs> 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 the model, model, sorry. But I, I'll, I will explain you why I took the Indian as a profile, as the design of this work. Because it is going to be a tribute for the fallen, conquered Indian. The first inhabitant of this island. So, you can see the forehead, the nose, the mouth and the chin. You can see it? It's easy to see. Eh? But I'm going to put him on his back, 
because he is a silent witness of the past. Yeah, this is a little bit difficult to see because it stopped, but it wasn't frozen. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see, then I, I make use of the model, you can see on, uh, on the walls, they are high, this one is 5 meters high, this is 17 meters, 17 meters. Can you imagine what an impression that gives when you walk through, the, through those pathways and those walls and you're standing there with the the mass of thorns on you. Can you imagine? And on top of those walls, there are the power lusty, the power hungry people looking upon you. Every move you make. That's nice. And <laughs> do, do, this is inspired, the, those heads, because I saw them uh, on the cathedrals in Europe. They all look upon you. You feel small. But anyway, the, this is, is very tough. This is a symbol of our destructive power over nature and fellow man. And I learned in my youth, and I still do, that your failures make you a better man when you are conscious of that. So this is a, 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 a way to let people learn that we have to work with our bad side, our dark side, but there is something very positive inside. And that's the light, because there is no darkness when there is no light. And there is no light without darkness. So the darker you see it, the more beautiful the light can be. That's what you saw. You saw the and then suddenly whop. And <laughs> That's happening here too. But now it's so much light. I mean, can you imagine when it's totally dark that what, what, the, what the effect is? So the thorns and the light within. That's the, the concept of this work. But there's another very beautiful thing inside. So we have the, the cathedral, we have the light within. It's illuminate, ill, illuminated from the inside. But we have in the heart of the cathedral, we I make room for my fellow artists to, ex to have a tri tribute. That's going to be that. Um, to make a tribute to the free spirit. And that's our good side, because there our creativity is coming from. It's very important. That's, that's, these are the fertile grounds. It's going to be in the brains and in the nose. And you're going to see these recesses where my fellow artists make art pieces. And that's creative to go to a better future. And what very, what's very important that we are more respectful, humble toward, towards Mother Earth and the fellow man. So, thank you.